Hello and welcome to your Components of Physical Fitness video. We're going to be talking about the five health related components of physical fitness. The first one is your cardiovascular system, your cardiovascular fitness. This is the ability of the circulatory system to supply oxygen to working muscles during exercise. This is our stamina. This is how long we can keep going without collapsing. It is amazing just how far we can push the human body. The more we can train this part, the more efficient our bodies become at delivering oxygen and clearing out lactic acid. Lactic acid is a byproduct of oxygen consumption. It can build up in our muscular system and cause the muscles to seize and stop working. We generally as humans stop exercise before our muscles come to this point. In addition to burning fat and keeping a lean body, cardiovascular fitness helps reduce levels of stress in our bodies as well. The second component of physical fitness is body composition. This is the relative percentage of body fat compared to lean body mass, which is made up of muscles, bones, and water. So fat versus your lean body. It is important to maintain a healthy weight to decrease the amount of strain that is put on your joints and muscles as they carry around a heavier frame. The third component of physical fitness is flexibility. This is the range of movement possible at various joints. If we are not flexible in our joints, they become stiff and our movement decreases. Flexibility also helps to prevent injuries, improve posture, and reduce lower back pain. The fourth component of physical fitness and the fifth are muscular strength and muscular endurance. Muscular strength is the amount of force that can be produced by a single contraction of a muscle. It is important to be strong, to power through sports movements, sustain a physical hit, and avoid injuries. Muscular endurance is the ability of the muscle group to continually contract over an extended length of time. There are six skill-related components of physical fitness. The first is speed. This is the ability to move quickly from one point to another in a straight line. Not just your body speed, but in some sports, it requires more speed from certain body parts. Like in golf and baseball, the swinging of the hands, or in football, the speed of kicking the ball. Agility is the ability of the body to change direction quickly. You can use this to dodge a defender or get to a ball quicker than your opponents. Third component is balance, the ability to maintain an upright posture while still or moving. It is linked to agility in that in order to move quickly and efficiently, your body has to be on balance in different postures. The fourth skill related component is coordination. This is the integration with your hands or your foot movements and an input of the senses. The fifth is reaction time. This is the amount of time it takes to get moving. It is how quickly your brain can respond to a stimulus and initiate that response. And the sixth is power. This is the ability to do strength work at an explosive pace. It is the product of both strength and speed put together.